G'day guys, Dan Barrett here from Big Smoke Barbecue and Four Monkeys. It's been a red hot minute since I've done a video, and this morning I woke up thinking, you know what, I feel like pork chops. So today I'm gonna to whip up some pork chops for you guys, it's gonna be really basic, really simple. I'm gonna chuck them on the Weber grill with some grill grades, get some nice marks on them. I'm gonna hit them with some rub, I'm gonna hit them with some uh, bit of a rib glaze, and we're gonna pair it with a pineapple salsa today, and it's gonna be sensational. So let's get cracking. So as I said guys, pork chops. I went down this morning, got myself four of these beautiful pork chops. I've taken off the rind here. Um, sometimes they come with rind on, sometimes they don't, but this one did, so I took them off. Um, also had a bone left in there, so I took them off because I don't like those in there. So basically what we've got here is four pork chops ready to go. I'm gonna hit them with a couple of uh, rubs today. Gonna lay some flavors on there. First one's gonna be the Four Monkeys home base. And we're just gonna give this a light tickle on top, like so. We're gonna come through with our second layer, the Four Monkeys pork rub. Gonna give it some great color, bit of sweetness to it, a little bit of heat to it. No one's gonna be offended by it, that's for sure. Just give it a slight pat, like so. Flip them over. Repeat, repeat on the other side. From a height, nice even coat, just like that. It's not real hard guys, it's real basic. As I said at the start of the video, we're gonna get these grill grates super hot. We're gonna get some nice sear marks on them and they're gonna be delicious. So just like that guys, if you've got any on the board, just sort of flip these around and hit all the sides and whatnot. Make sure you're getting it all covered. It's not gonna take long. It's only gonna take about a 10 minute cook today. So just like that, let them chill out on the bench for about 20 minutes. Let those, those rubs really adhere to the meat and start to sink in. You'll see it start to change from like a dry look to like a wet look. That's when you know it's ready to hit the grill. So while these just hang out, we're gonna go light that grill and we'll be back soon. All right guys, so we're at that grill now. I've got my trusty heat beads, cocoa shells. Because we're gonna go as hot as we can today, nice, hot, fast cook, I'm gonna use the blues. If I was gonna do low and slow with a snake method or a minion method, I'd probably use the reds. Um, so we're basically we've got our, both our coal baskets in here, filled up with some briquettes ready to go. Got my trusty, my trusty loof lighter. Just gonna stick that in, turn it on, and the loof lighter's gonna do the rest. Within about two or three minutes, this thing will be glowing. We're ready to chuck the grill grates on, get them nice and hot, get those pork chops on, and it's only gonna take a few minutes from there. So stick around. All right guys, it's time to cook. The grill rates are smoking hot. They're around 615 on the peak Fahrenheit. The lamb, sorry, the uh, pork chops have been sitting there for 20 minutes. It's looking really wet now. You can hear, you can see that rub really adhere to that meat. So let's get these on and hear that sizzle. That's what you want to hear. Just get all four of them on like so. And we're going to uh, we're going to leave them on there for about a minute and a half. We're going to flip them 90 degrees, get some nice sear marks on them. Flip them over, do them the same, minute and a half, minute and a half, and then we're going to start taking internal temperatures. This won't take long. Right, so it's been about three minutes on one side. One minute 30, twist at one minute 30. I'm gonna flip this over and have a look at it. Look at that. Beautiful searing going on there. Flip these over. Another minute and a half each side. And they are looking bloody delicious. Stick around. So we've just done our last turn. We're on the home stretch now. What I'm gonna do I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of maple bourbon rib glaze from Cosmos Q. This one's just landed in Australia and it is absolutely delicious. So, super excited to get this on there. Just gonna pour a little bit over the top. Like so. 
I'm gonna get my trusty brush. I'll just paint that on. Let that just sink in there, really caramelize those sugars. It's gonna go really well with pork. We both know it. Just like so. Lid back on, home stretch. We really wanna start uh, keeping eye on this internal temperature. We want it around 135 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe 140 internal. So we'll keep an eye on it now. We may have to move it to the side to bring it up slowly, but uh, we'll wait another 30 seconds and see where it's at. All right guys, so they're pretty much right where I want them. They're probing at 130, 132. So we're gonna pull these off, let them carry over just those few extra degrees. Let them rest for 10 minutes and we'll pair them with that pineapple salsa and we'll get to eat them. <laughs> right guys, it's come down to this. That's how simple it was. We had these four beautiful pork chops. We rubbed them in Four Monkeys home base as a base. We rubbed them in Four Monkeys pork. We hit them on the grill, those grill grates around 600 with those cocoa shells. We finished it off with the maple bourbon rib glaze. It's been resting for about 10 minutes. I've whipped up a quick pineapple salsa here. Um, just one I found on the internet. It tastes really good, so it's gonna pair really well with this. I'm gonna cut this open and have a look. Oh, that, I don't know whether you can see that or not, but that is so juicy. And you know I'm gonna have to try it. Mmm, that maple bourbon comes through with those rubs, those little bits of char grill on there. Absolutely sensational. Give it a go at home. You're gonna love it. Kids are gonna love it. Family's gonna love it. Missus is gonna love it. Leave you to it. Mm -mm -mm.